What's up YouTube? Um, short video here. Uh, I know I normally talk about trucking and troops to transportation and for those uh, guys getting out how to make the most out of that program and make the most out of a trucking career. But what I wanted to touch on today just because uh, it kind of came up in a, a comment was pre-planning to get out of the military. You know a lot of people talk about Oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to go to, you got to go to self tap and get your resume. But the biggest thing I did that set me up for success, getting out of the military and jumping on this truck or whatever job you choose, is ensuring that you have a sustainable income going through. So this is what I did. I saved up all my leave for my last three years getting out. Now, that might not be feasible for some people. One year, two year, every little bit helps. Now, I also had to put an exception to policy in because my brigade had a policy where you could take no more than 60 days terminal leave. Well, I had a job offer, so I put an exception to policy letter in saying, hey, I've got a job offer. Let me take all my 90 days of leave. Now, the reason why I do this is because, one, if you're getting out, you have no paycheck after this. If you're retiring, there is a gap between getting out and your retirement pay starting. And if you're doing a, a VA claim, there's a gap between your getting out and your claim being finalized. So 90 days leave, that's 90 days of active duty pay. That's 90 days where if you got a job that you immediately go into, that's 90 days of double paychecks to eliminate as much debt as possible. That way you've got a buffer when your army pay stops and you're just relying on your civilian pay. So something to take in con into consideration. I, like I said, I did 90 days plus 20 days permissive TDY because I retired cannot work that 20 uh, that 20 days but on day 20 I was traveling to orientation for this company now if you're going into the trucking industry a lot of companies they have either training pay which is way less and there's kind of a learning curve to, to get to the point where you can uh, earn to your full potential so that's also why I recommend using your terminal leave to stack up that pay because I'm making $1,500 a week right now. That $1,500 a week almost pretty much evens out my E7 pay. But for the first couple weeks, I wasn't making that. The first week I was in the truck, I ran my clock out and I had to do a reset. So seven or five days in the truck and I can't work days six or seven. So I shorted myself pay because I, I, I was learning. Two weeks later, I ran my clock out again. I made a little bit more money because I managed my time more wisely, but I still ran my clock out. So save up that leave, use it on the way out. It, it gives you a firm foothold transitioning into a new, uh, new career. Also, about 180 days out from the day you decide you're taking leave. So you want to backwards plan this. If you're ETS and you know what your ETS date is. So I'm ETS and on January 5th. So I'm taking 60 days of leave. So November, somewhere around November 6th, you're signing out on leave. 180 days prior to that, you want to go to your uh, medical command and request your medical records. It's going to take about 15, 20 days to get them. Once you get your medical records, read through every page of it. If something came up more than once or if something came up that is like bad, hey, I broke a bone, hey, I had shoulder surgery, make a note of it. Now, as soon as you hit 180 days from discharge. So roughly about 
30 days after you get your medical records, depending on how much leave you have, go to eBenefits and initiate your VA claim. COVID 19's got everything slowed down, but you initiate that claim, and sometime during your terminal leave, you should get your CMP exams. And if you initiate it while on active duty, it's considered a B BBD or BDD. I don't know exact, uh, exactly what it is, but it's benefits um, at the time of discharge. So my last official day on active duty was September 1st, so a couple, couple weeks ago. On September 1st, I got my VA rating. I will get my first check from the VA here in the next 30 to 45 days. So I already know I'm good to go. But like I said, you gotta stack up that money, pay off them bills, learn how to earn on the outside. I know I'm good until that pay starts because I took all these steps. Now, with the VA, some of it's gonna be service connected, some of it's not. If you haven't done a sleep study and you snore, go do a sleep study. That percentage, it's it's going to help you if you get a percentage. I'm not saying go and try to defraud the system. If you if you you know you spent 20 years in the army, you've got some issues. You know, bad knees, flat feet, messed up shoulders, bad back. Make sure you claim that stuff. Even if you spent a little bit of time in and you had to get seen for the same thing repeatedly, shin splints. Go through the medical records with a fine tooth comb. Um, a lot of people say get a VSO. I couldn't get a VSO because of COVID-19. I did it myself, and I came out 100% disability. So, it's possible to do it all yourself. It's possible to figure it out on your own. But, take these steps. It's important. I know a lot of guys who didn't do them, and then they're regretting it. I know a lot of guys who did do them, and life is a lot more comfortable on the outside for them. So, just some quick advice. Um, I'll get back more into uh, trucking with the next video. It's been an interesting couple weeks. I've been all over Texas. And uh, I gotta got to do a sponsored video. I got a sponsor. <laughs> I got to do a sponsored video here coming up. And uh, we'll probably touch some more on some, uh, some trucker apps. Because... It's uh, 2020. I don't know. You get a lot of a lot of old school truckers who, who bitch about steering wheel holders and all these new drivers, and but they're still plotting shit with a map and compass, wasting time, writing their uh, weights and stuff on a pad and paper, and trying to figure out how to slide their tandems, doing doing simple math when basically it takes me 30 seconds to do all the exact same stuff just using an app. But anyway, y'all take her easy, keep the shiny side up, and uh, you'd like to see more of uh, what I've got to offer, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to try to get some more vi or some better videos instead of just me talking from the driver's seat. Um, should be getting a new laptop soon so I can uh, break out the other cameras and actually edit some videos and, and show y'all what this truck and stuff's really about. But y'all take it easy. Good talking to you.